Welcome to the FlowerSchool.com video library. I'm Leanne Kessler, director of the Floral Design Institute, and today I'm here to show you a super simple technique for creating a corsage with the Phalaenopsis orchid. They're so delicate, they can be a little scary, but trust me, they're actually quite easy to work with. Even the huge, beautiful white ones, they don't brown if you touch them. They do last a long time, but you have to know the techniques to make it easy to create a corsage. First step, preparing the ribbon. So I set the flower aside for a moment, and I'm going to use the trendy ombre colored ribbon, which gives me a wonderful base. Now you may wonder, a number 40 ribbon for a corsage, and yes, it is big, but it'll give me the color variation that I want. I don't have to use big loops. I can make it small, and I'm not twisting because I want the ombre to stay lined up. I don't want it to become spread out. And just keep looping back and forth. And I think three loops on each side is going to be ample. Maybe even just three on one side and two on the other. Yeah, that looks good. So you just kind of do it by feel. When it feels right, that's when you stop. Then cut it off. Wire it just like you would a normal bow. And then tape that. And I know many times you've seen me work and I don't tape my bow wire, but this time you need to. You need to tape that down, determine how long you want it to be, give it a cut, and then tape over the ends. Make sure that no wire can protrude. Then I roll that up. That's going to be the end of the corsage and start fluffing out the ribbon keeping the ombre placement, all the purple on one side, all the pink on the other, to get a nice base to work with. To attach the fails, I don't wire and tape. I actually just use the Super 77 spray glue. So when I work with them, I take each orchid and clip it off of the plant so I have no stem at all. And then that's going to spray glue and then lay directly into the ribbon. So you can even lay them out ahead of time. Take a look, see how they fit together, make a decision how many blooms you want. You can adjust the loops of the ribbon a little bit. For mine, I think three blooms is going to be just about perfect. And I'm going to make room by squishing down this loop make my orchid out of the way so that he's going to be flatter. There we go. Then he'll fit in there and the last one goes back on. So I'll have three of them tucked in just like so. So to begin, I take them and I lay them flat, face down, very gently on a piece of cardboard. And again, adjusting the ribbon loops so that I know I'll be able to place them in there when it's time and then lightly spray, just spraying all across the back, making sure you get saturation. And then you have to let it dry, let it sit until it's tacky to the touch, and you'll know it's ready when you can touch it and it sticks to your finger. Not quite ready yet, so I just kind of wait. It's nice and tacky. There we go. Okay, then starting at the top, setting it right in, letting it adhere directly to the ribbon, then coming down towards the bottom. Again, tucking it right to the ribbon. And then the last one in the center, making sure that it adheres to the ribbon and it sets immediately. To enhance, I'm going to use just the Mega Beads from the Oasis Company. Now they're a little heavier, so the spray glue won't adhere with those. It just would fall right back off. So for this, it's perfect to use the Oasis Floral Adhesive. It's a stronger glue. Just take a dab right onto the Mega Bead. Let it begin to set. 
and then nestle it right down into the ribbon underneath the flower, maybe a second one. Just adding a nice little accent to the corsage without adding a lot of weight. The beauty of using the 3M Super 77 spray glue is that as the orchids begin to fade throughout the day, they would normally get tired, go limp, lean forward, but the spray glue works like a straitjacket. It actually suspends them against the ribbon so that they can't lean forward. So they're going to look fresh and perky throughout the entire day. It's like a magic trick that you have for working with Phalaenopsis orchids. Now you may be wondering what other flowers will this work with? Only the lightest weight flat flowers. So yes, the fails are perfect. A gardenia, no, it's too heavy. You need to go back to your Oasis Boil adhesive. It wouldn't work with the spray glue. So now it's your turn. Experiment with different blooms. Try it. Wear it around all day and see just how long it lasts. It's a fun one to do. If you have questions and you wonder, will this flower work? Don't hesitate to contact us. You can reach me through the website at flowerschool.com or if the phone is easier, give us a call at 1-800-819-8089. And of course, I'd love to see a picture of your spray glued corsage. Use my personal email. It's Leanne, L-E-A-N-N-E, -N -N -E, at floraldesigninstitute.com. Have fun and do something you love.